Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. It is Friday the 29th of May 2020 and this is episode three of Going Back to School with me, Dean Allmark. It's been about three months now since my last professional wrestling match and every week I'm going to be bringing you back here to the All-Star Wrestling School to document on how I'm coping without wrestling on a full-time basis like I've done for the last 20 years and kind of show you how I'm preparing to get back in the ring kind of stay in ring shape, get in ring shape. It's probably get in ring shape at this point. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. But first, it wouldn't be a wrestling training session without necking one of these beforehand. Uh, this is a new flavor, I think. I've never had one of these before. So we're gonna try this, see how it is. Kampai. Oh, it's pineapple. I don't mind pineapple. So I'm actually wearing knee pads today. Um, I haven't done for the last couple of sessions, but uh, last week I purchased a treadmill, uh, which I've been doing every day. And in the summer last year, I hurt my left knee doing a crossbody or dive across off the top rope. And when I landed, I guess I landed hard on my knee. And uh, ever since then, it's been a bit of a problem. Um, it's okay most of the time, but like the, the times in matches where I've done a crossbody or I've hit my moonsault. And when I've landed, it, it feels like so painful. Um, the only time I really feel it outside the ring is when I bring my leg up to like this position, like with my foot towards my face. Um, so when I'm putting socks on in the morning or when I'm trying to bite my toenails, it really hurts. I don't really bite my toenail. That's just a joke. <laughs> so the, the knee pads are just for a bit of extra support. I was looking for my knee support, but I couldn't find it. So uh, I'm planning on doing some more, um, more advanced rolls today in my little session. So uh, I brought my knee pads along just for the protection. <laughs>
okay back in the car now that was so much fun today uh, i got to do some stuff that i haven't done for a, a long time now uh, i was really happy with how my knee held up i've been worried about it all week like when i'll be on the treadmill doing my home workouts uh playing football or even putting my socks on in the morning there was a slight twinge um but i didn't really feel it in there to be honest the only thing I did feel when I was doing the advanced rolls was uh, there was like a pause or a delay when I'd be doing things um, and everything felt a little bit harder, like it took a little bit more effort than it usually would. Uh, I think it comes down to two things. Uh, I'm definitely overweight at the minute, that's one of them, and uh, ring rust is definitely a real thing. Uh, I've always said you can do as much fitness and cardio as you want, but unless you're wrestling in a wrestling ring on a regular basis, then you're not going to be as snappy as you usually are. Uh, ring fitness is definitely its own little thing, and and hopefully doing this on a weekly basis is going to help me prepare for when I eventually do get back in the ring. Uh, I'm quietly confident that there is going to be wrestling during the summer. I've got no information to support this, but... Over the last week, there's been quite a bit of movement from the government. Uh, obviously, letting people have barbecues and picnics together in groups of six is like a big step forward, I think. Uh, we're still in May now, so by the time July comes, I think things are going to be a, a lot better than they are now. So, fingers crossed we'll be back on the road doing what we love. And, uh, and yeah, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Don't quote me, but I think that's going to be... I think we're all going to be wrestling during the summer. I just want to say thank you for all the nice messages and comments uh, that I've received over the last couple of episodes. Um, honestly, it does mean the world to me. Like I said last week, speaking in front of a camera is the most uncomfortable thing in the world for me. So uh, the, all the support really means a lot. Um, I've had quite a, people, quite a few people like message saying, they kind of want to do the same thing and they were a little bit worried about it and and they struggle with confidence too but honestly if I can do it you definitely can and uh, you're given a voice so you should definitely use it and 100% don't be scared to use it uh, if if people can take some sort of inspiration from this then it makes me so happy so uh, that's it for this week's episode uh, again if you're not subscribed or following to whatever you're watching this on then please do that that'd be great and uh i'll see you all again next week have a good one